Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, there was a terrific card from Mexico that was shown on DAZN last night, early hours of the morning if you're in the UK. I'm glad I watched it. Um, it was headlined by uh, Juan Francisco Estrada winning a unanimous, a close unanimous decision over RG Cortez, who was, you know, coming in as a sort of, I guess, a tune-up for a th proposed third fight with Chocolatito for um, Estrada. And RG Cortez, uh, who had two defeats on his record, both on points, I guess you'd call them learning, point, uh, learning fights. Uh, he also had a couple of draws. He had 23 wins with 10 KOs, not a big puncher, but... Um, he really excelled. He really did far better than most people gave him credit for. Um, both his defeats were early on in his career. Uh, but he was untested at world level. And there's no doubt now that he definitely is world level. Because although he lost the fight to Estrada by scores of 115-112, 114-113. That's how close it was. And 115-112 was, was the two, two cards on 115-112, 114-113. Unanimous, very close decision. I have to say, I thought Cortez won. I had him one point ahead. 114-113. It was that type of fight. Um, I thought he spun the upset. He didn't get it. Of course, Estrada is, you know, much loved in, uh, in Mexico. But then RG Cortez is also Mexican and... He's only 27, um, whereas Estrada, now 32 in the, you know, I guess if he's not in his prime, he's pretty close to it. I have to say I thought Estrada lost the second fight with Gonzalez, and that was that was over a year ago. That was March 2021. So he's been out of the ring for a while, and I think it showed. And I think, I believe Cortez was a change of opponent. And again, it showed, because Estrada... Um, he came out, he normally comes out quite slowly and quite, you know, when he has to sort of look at the opponent for the first couple of rounds, but he came out looking to really take the initiative in the first round and Cortez sort of matched him. Um, I think I gave the first round to Estrada, but then from the second round onwards, Cortez was letting his hands go and he was exchanging. I mean, this was, these were full blooded swooping hooks, you know, very fast. And uh, Estrada, being you know extremely experienced, um, he didn't seem perturbed. He was firing back. But I have to say that after six rounds, I had um, Cortez four two up, and some at least two of those rounds were swing rounds. I get it. You, I'm not saying that you couldn't make a case in the other direction. But I watched it. I scored it as I watched it. I'm not going to rewrite history. And I had uh, four two up. I had Cortez four two up after six. And I thought the upset's on the cards here. And it was. I mean, Cortez was, was showing, you know, wisdom beyond his years, ring wisdom beyond his years. And Estrada was containing him to some degree, but you knew that in the second half of the fight, Estrada would have to come on strong. Well, sure enough, terrific fighter that he definitely is. Estrada in the seventh round turned up the heat and suddenly the far less experienced fighter was under the cosh and he was in a place he'd never been before. And Estrada floored Cortez with a left hook to the back. Um, they played a replay between rounds, and it was it definitely landed on the, on Cortez's back. And then a right hook came under uh, Cortez's left arm, whacked him on the ribs, and he went over. And he complained about the punch on on the back. I mean, it, it was it wasn't Estrada being a dirty fighter. It was a case of Cortez just sort of swung forward, and the hook landed on his back, sort of close to his spine, I think. Um, but the, definitely the right hand to the body was a legitimate punch by Estrada. And suddenly he was back in the fight. Um, two point round. Um, and there were five rounds left, of course. <clears throat> and I think definitely Estrada. There were moments when Estrada looked like he was going to take complete control. But to me, he didn't. Cortez just did enough to fiddle his way through some of these rounds and pinch them. He was very active. I think I gave the eight to Estrada. I, haven't got my, I wrote it down. I haven't got, I haven't got a bit, bit of paper on me. I think I threw it away. But the eighth, I think, was Estrada's round. But then, uh, probably the ninth as well. But, but then the, the tenth, eleventh, twelfth, the championship rounds, I definitely gave Estrada the last round. But these rounds in between, especially the, lev the eleventh, which is a really good example of, I think, why I sort of was edging some of these rounds towards Cortez, is that Cortez 
boxed. He, he suddenly, you know, because this was a very exciting, high octane, high punch output fight. When, when one of the fighters, in this case Cortez, calmed down a bit and decided to box, 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 move his hands, you know, scoring punches, not trying to hurt the other guy, that sort of got overlooked. And in the 11th round, I thought, I thought that was a perfect little cameo of how good Cortez was in those sort of less exciting moments. Because he clearly outboxed, never found he clearly outboxed Estrada and won that round. And Estrada was hunting him down, trying to cut the ring off, but wasn't letting his hands go enough in some of these rounds and wasn't connecting enough. And you've got to connect to get, to get points. You've got to connect to, to win a fight. So I thought, as the 12th round came to, I gave the 12th round to Estrada, as it came to a conclusion, I totted up my score and I had it 114, 113 for Cortez. And again, if you want to go the other way by a point or two, no argument. I mean, the, the judges, I can't really complain too much about the judges because um, two of them gave it 7-5 in rounds to um, Estrada and one had it, you know, one, I think we think he had him one, one point ahead, like I said, you know. So it was that type of fight. It was very entertaining. Um, I think this was a... <laughs> it's funny because when I was watching the fight early on, when... when um, Cortez went over when Estrada got him on the floor. I thought this is a real baptism by fire. Suddenly, Archie Cortez is in the thick of it and he is learning the hard way. Um, suddenly, he's in world class company and he's got an answer. He's got to give an answer to, you know, to to say, yeah, I belong here. I am a, I am a legitimate world class fighter. And he did that. He learned it the hard way. He did that. But when you consider, you know, he was in against Estrada who. Older, older man by five years, much more experienced as a fighter, has beaten Cuedras, R Roman Gonzalez, Chocolatito, um, Swiss Cat, Saw um, You know, it, it, I think he, I think he, I think he shared, he shared two fights with Rungvasai and he shared two with Chocolatito. I definitely thought he lost the second one, the Chocolatito, but masses and masses of experience, and it did show in the fight. And if you do feel that Estrada edged it. Um, it was probably that experience um, that that edged it for him. But again, I have to I have to say, as I scored it, I had Cortez one point ahead. But it was a very entertaining fight. Both guys' reputations. Well, I certainly, I think uh, Cortez' reputation is enhanced. Estrada, because he struggled, he's got a high high. Uh, he's, he's viewed very highly anyway. Um, but against Gonzalez, who hasn't fought recently but looked absolutely brilliant in his last fight against Martinez. I think Chocolatito beats him in the in the rubber match, in the, in the third match. Could be wrong, of course. I thought he won the last fight, didn't get the decision, but that was a split, of course, split decision. Went the wrong way for me. Um, and to be honest with you, so did this. Very close unanimous decision win for, um, for Estrada, but for me, I thought Cortes won the fight. So... What did you think? Did you see it? it was on DAZN? Really great card. I mean, really, really good card from DAZN. Um, DAZN have been on the rack a bit, you know, not getting enough subscribers, not winning purse bids, especially Eddie Hearn and Matrim have been criticised in a lot of quarters. They're not having things their own way as they did with Sky. But that's business. You know, you write, write DAZN, write, write Hearn off at your peril because it's swings and roundabouts, you know, especially with something like DAZN, which is a Still, to be honest with you, a fledgling company, which is maybe losing money over hand over fist, but you speculate to accumulate, as the saying goes. You put your you put your money where your mouth is. You invest. You lose money. You maybe you overpay to start with, uh, in order to gain your foothold in the market, and then you make um, you make your profits further down the line. I mean, years down the line, like Sky. Sky TV was losing money hand over fist. I think it was a million quid a day at one point when it started back in the, in the start of the nineties. Um, and Rupert Murdoch, who owned it, was plugging money in from his papers. Same thing with the zone. You've got to wait and you know invest and hope that people catch on and that, that suddenly you become a valued, much sought after commodity. Um, but if they offer this type of card, this like the one from Mexico, you know, such a fantastic card. If they if this is the quality of the zone's product, I don't think they'll have any problems if they keep if they can survive. You know the sort of maelstrom of, have, of losing a lot of money in, initially. I think they'll eventually emerge as a as a very popular um, platform for boxing. Um, I mean, you know, the Estrada fight was was 
as, as I just said, was fantastic. And then you had the um, you had the woman's fight, you know, Cruz and um, lady from Canada, and and this this was this was good quality stuff, good quality stuff. And um, I really think that you know the the Hector Flores fight and the um, not Shinga fight was was a brilliant contest. Uh, it, you know, give him a chance. I think his own will flourish eventually. Uh, but anyway, digressing. Um, well done to Estrada for his win. Um, commiserations to Argy Cortez. It can definitely come again. He's now proved himself to be world class. Did you see the fight? If so, please leave your comments below. And uh, yeah, you know, subscribe. Hit the like button. You know the drill. Of course you do. We'll speak again sometime soon. Bye for now.